Okay, so we're making the fretboard for the Firebird build. And last time we left with the question of whether we should be fitting binding to the fretboard or not. Now as usual, we had a lot of good suggestions in the comments, but the overwhelming majority of people went with what I thought was the best decision of not using binding on this occasion. The wood is quite nice and there's some nice figure down the sides of the fretboards. So I think it will look great without binding. So now we've established that we can push on with the fretboard and start to get it ready for the radiusing. But before we do that, I just want to at least establish the positions for the dot markers. And the first step in that is to just position this template onto the center line and just roughly mark out where the board's actually going to sit. And then from there, I can just mark out which positions are actually going to have a dot in. And I will be double, triple and quadruple checking this before I do anything that isn't reversible. And then I just draw in the diagonals from where the fret slots meet the mark for the outer edge of the board. And that will give me the position for my dot. Okay, so with that done, we can now move on to the main part of the job today, and that's to put the radius on the board. For most of the radiusing, I'm just gonna use a hand plane. That'll get rid of the bulk of the material, then I can do a little bit of sanding towards the end. I find that just using a sanding block for this job takes an absolute age and creates loads of dust and mess. So much better doing it with a nice sharp plane. Okay, so I'm just going to use a number three plane for this and it's going to be set really, really fine. So it's almost taking nothing off at all. And I've left this board untrimmed. So it is the same width all the way along because what I need to do is plane parallel to the edges because that will mean I get a consistent 12 inch radius right the way along the board. If I were to trim this to shape and then plane along those edges that are tapering in, I'd actually put a compound radius onto the board and I don't want to do that in this situation. I'm gonna be taking the absolute minimum of shaving off. I've never used Wenge before. I don't know how prone it is to chipping and cracking. The last thing I want to do is be knocking chunks off where I've sawn in these fret slots. I've done it this way before on numerous occasions on different types of wood and it's always been absolutely fine, but you just never know.
Okay, so I've been working my way down this, kind of checking as I go, and we're very close now, maybe a mil out or so. Um, so now I'm just going to take this 12 inch radius sanding block. It's got some 60 grit aluminium oxide paper on it, so it's very coarse, but it will get through this quickly. And we'll just sand the rest of this in. Well, that's the radiusing done but what it has also achieved is it's it's basically removed some of the fret slots that I put in on the outer edges it's not a huge problem all it means is that I now need to recut these to the absolutely correct depth and to do that I just take the fret slotting saw and I'll set this guide up to the depth of the tang on the fret and we'll just recut these slots very quickly The slots are cleaned out, cut back down to depth, and I've also cleaned out the little location holes for the markers. So that means, ready to go to the drill press. With that done, it's just a matter of dropping a little bit of super glue into the hole and then just dropping the little mother of pearl dot in. Now they're quite a tight fit, which is good. This is what we want, but it doesn't mean I'm going to have to give them a little bit of persuasion into the hole. Like that. Now that's a little bit proud still, which is exactly what we want. And we can get the sanding block back on this once we've got them all in and just flush them off.
Okay, and there we have the board radiused and with its dots in place. As you can see there, that's been rubbed to 280 and it's got a little bit of a sheen starting on it. The next step with this is to kind of get it trimmed to shape, get it trimmed off at the nut line, find out where I want it to end at the body end and get that trimmed off. And we've also got to put that little relief in the end of the fretboard for the adjuster wheel on the truss rod. Once we've done all that, we can then clean this up properly, rub it down, get it polished up. I'm gonna try and do that with Super Asilix and 3M Trizac pads to get it to a nice glossy state. But all of that is gonna be for next time. So make sure you don't miss out on that. As always, like if you've liked, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.